Good afternoon everybody, my name is Dr Andrew Taylor, I'm Head of Technical here at the ASFP and I thought we'd do a little piece today talking about the fact that it's been one month since the HSE's new Gateways 2 and 3 came into force. The gateways were originally things that were suggested by Dame Judith Hackett in Building a Safer Future. Her report in the, to the construction industry looking at some of the failings post Grenfell. Gateway 1 was a, an enhanced fire strategy and it was planning permission, permission to design the building in detail. Gateway 2, which came into force of the, as of the 1st of October 2023, is a detailed design and it's required that that design is reviewed and agreed between the client and a joint competent authority including health and safety executive and the local authority building control and the fire and rescue service before construction can start. So Gateway 2 is permission to, to construct and once you've done that while you go through that construction phase there's an ongoing dialogue between the client the main principal contractor and the joint competent authority and that's reviewed at the end of the construction phase at gateway three which is check that you built what you said you were going to build for permission to occupy those gateways have been out there now for a month obviously there are relatively few projects that go through this but in, in principal contractor world, there's an awful lot of development of standards that needs to be done to make sure these buildings are designed properly and that we can get through Gateway 2. And my advice is to spend an awful lot of time getting through Gateway 2 and then stick with your plans and build what you said so that Gateway 3 becomes a lot easier to pass. <laughs> 